Well, give me the gory details. You want the gory details? Yeah. I want all the gory details. Tell her all the gory details, you snake. I hear the gory details. Not the gory details. Gory details with which you speak. I'll call you later with all the gory details. All right, just give me the gory details. With all the gory details. Don't have to recount all the gory details. They're not wanting to hear the gory details, I guess. Spare me. Spare me. Not a lover's quarrel, pal. Spare me! Spare me the fucking details.
boy. It's kind of cramped in that coffin down there. Oh, hey, that's me. Let's get gory. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guys and ghouls, and ghosts and goblins. If you're new here, hey, my name is Sean Gory. I'll spare you the gory details. I'm dead excited to be here with you all this evening for our Monster Monday broadcast. We're coming back to you live from Stray. It's hard to see because the logo is dead center and I am right in front of it. Uh, we took our first dive into this game last week. This is our second kind of episode here and it's International Cat Day. So happy International Cat Day. Very fitting that we're playing a cat. The visuals are gorgeous. The lighting is great. Um, the story isn't super prevalent yet. We resurrected or sort of free this AI little quadcopter hover friend named B12. We, it seems, we don't know for sure, but it seems like the humans are just gone. Uh, it seems like there are these critters here now called Who's the guy? Z Z Zergs? No. It's not Zerg. That's a, that's that's Starcraft. Zucks. Not to be confused with Zuckerberg. Yeah, like the little little, little Zucks. Um, which can apparently your cat just got treats good. They deserve it. What's up, Tawdry? Um, they these little critters that look alien-like can eat straight through metal, and maybe that's what got rid of all the humans. Also, one of the, the robots I was talking to said that the humans found a way for plants to no longer need sunlight, which is suspicious. So maybe that's what did them in. But again, that's assuming they're actually gone. We're about to find out together. We're currently kind of just exploring the first little city we've, we've been in. We found a poncho or made a poncho. So we're gonna see if we can um, find, find a robot to give this poncho to that is maybe cold. Before we go further though, you might notice that above my head there's this giant blue donation bar and progress tracker for this little fundraiser we're doing called Extra Life. For those of you who don't know, Extra Life is this absolutely free 24 hour charity gaming marathon where you can play games for an entire day and helps raise funds for sick and injured kids Army. in the Children's Miracle Network Hospital of your choice. This could be in your own backyard. Oh my gosh. Two billion zombies are on their way to Ray from Red or Cat. Speaking of Extra Life, they're coming from all directions. My god, they are billions. Welcome, 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 Raiders. Welcome, Red or Cat. If you guys are coming from Red or Cat's stream, you know very well what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Extra Life here and how the funds we raise here make the world difference for those kids in need of the Transmedical Network Hospitals. Red or Cat, let me give you a shout out here, real quick. Shout out to. Right, or Kath, boom, thank you, thank you. What were you playing and how did it go? Um, I can't remember what you were playing last. I feel like we've gone back and forth rating each other so so much. Kath Attack! What is up, Right, or Kath? Welcome, welcome. Speaking of Extra Life, you might also notice that Todd and Cheetah use their Phantom Points to make me donate a dollar to Extra Life, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. Beat Thief started uh, heroine's quest. Interesting, interesting. I'm not familiar with Beat Thief. I'm assuming it's like a timing or like music based game. I, oh, derp, derp, derp. You beat Thief and then started a new game called Heroine's Quest. I understand now. Um, Thief has looked amazing. Thief and Dishonored. Dishonored because you can get like crazy powers, but Thief looked like what Assassin's Creed had the same vibe as too, which is pretty awesome. But glad to hear it, Ryder Cath. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to slap the cans on. So, okay, toss. I'm going to get my giant head of the way. We'll do it to Extra Life, and we will continue exploring as a cat. Let's do it. First things first, pull over a new tab, get my magical extra life button. Close up the old tab, hit donate, do a dollar. Where's my drum roll at? Did 
Did you guys hear the lightning? That was spoopy. If I lose power, I apologize. And there's the notification already in. That was spoopy. I, I didn't think my microphone would be able to pick it up, but it absolutely did. Okay, well, that was for emphasis. That was all uh, dramatic of, dramatic effect. We meant for that to happen. Product, product value. Like, I can make lightning happen here. That was not fake. That was real. Todger, I'm going to go ahead and mark those phantom points as complete. I'm also going to toggle those off behind me. Let's um start. Okay. The, the slums. That's where we are. The slums. Continue. So we were just kind of exploring. Oh my gosh. The loading screen right behind me. As you can see, there's little, there are little paw prints. Oh. Yeah, there's no, like, save feature. Do we mean to be, be back here? Okay. I remember last we were kind of, like, exploring the roofs. Because we had explored as much as I could on the first, like, the ground floor. So I kind of want to explore the rooftops a little bit. We are looking for a cold, a cold robot. Oh, yeah. I can meow. Not me to jump down there. There's paint over there. Do I want to knock paint on people? I kind of want to knock paint on people. We're gonna keep exploring. There's like vending machines we can get goodies from. So I just gotta keep my eyes open. Like, look, there's a vending machine right there. Do I do anything with these guys? No. Take energy drink. Sweet. I wonder if I actually have to take those, or if I just give them to people. Like, if I can take an energy drink, a cat hopped up on monster sounds pretty crazy. What's up, Mama Knight? Welcome to the stream. How are you? Happy Monster Monday. Happy International Cat Day. Okay, I do remember seeing this TV on and how it was just kind of seemed like propaganda, or just not generally not good things that were going on. Not that all news is propaganda, but you know what I mean, like, um, potentially less than stellar things here. It looks like we can go in this building? It's like an awesome library. Um, as a mini fridge. Oh, the mini fridge is full of books. I think we found Ma Mama Knight's house. This music, though. Ooh, translate. Hey, Doc, I found the key to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. We got an, a safe. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just librarian. Yes, it's always cat day here. Well, apparently there's a bunch of books concealing a safe, so I gotta keep my eyes open for that. Hello. Well, if I was a safe... Guarded by a bunch of books. Um, is this guy dead? How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume 42. Ooh, sheet music. Nice. I might be able to get up up top there. Have I ever posted pics of, of my library? Um, I can't say you have, Mama Knight. Share share it in the Discord. Heaven forbid it's a it's a repost. I won't be mad at that. I know that you love to read. That's why I instantly thought of you when we 
when we entered this place. I mean, there's books up high. There... There was a circle up there I could interact with. Oh, I can sleep here? What a cozy spot. Oh my gosh. Been lovely. Taking a break from the heat. It's It's been super hot today. Glad to hear it, Mom. And I. Glad to hear it. Okay, so... Is that all just for me to... Just to sleep? Shame. There's gotta be someplace else I can go. Unless by doc they're referring to an actual doctor. Hmm. Yeah, so that was the circle I could jump to. My power supply just uh, flickered a couple times. <gasps> yes, I know this is bad, but I have to do it. It's part of my DNA. Yeah, the light behind me went out. The light behind me went out. I did turn that on earlier, right? Weird, 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 weird. Yes, yes. That's too much, too much. Can I get somewhere from up here? No? Shoot. We already translated that. I'm not seeing a safe around here. Maybe it's not in here. Maybe there is a pile of books that's concealing a safe elsewhere. We'll keep exploring, that's okay. Oops. Okay, oh, can, can I claw his couch? I'm gonna do it. I guess we will keep exploring then. That's the dude who we spilt paint on outside of a shop. Almost felt bad for that. We must have already talked to this guy. Yeah. Hmm. Are these guys cold now? There's a bucket here. So I, I definitely came down from some point high up. My friend loved tossing buckets uh, at each other. Good, clean fun. Our downstairs neighbor disagrees, so we're taking a break right now. Okay. There's the guardian guy. Hmm. I am running out of places to go. Have we been there? That that lantern there? That's not where we came from, right? I don't think so. Let's go see if we can talk to his friend. the weather right now, which means you probably don't want a poncho. 
Okay, well. I would have left to gotten across there. Hmm. There's a bucket up there to get down over there somewhere. How do I get up to there? Oh, just jump across. Okay. Hmm. Bucket time it is. Yeah, that's that window I'm not sure if we've been to. What about up here? I don't recognize this area. What is this? It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go up the uh, to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copy this behavior. Huh. When I'm getting my cat to watch, do it, Todger. Do it, buddy. Get your cat to watch. If it's International Cat Day, it's a great time for it. Okay, well... Boy, that's up there. I didn't realize how high it was. Shoot. All right, well, let's try exploring that Chinese, Japanese lantern. I'm bummed out I didn't see uh, anyone who was cold. Okay, so this was the house that we spawned in. Because there's those sliding doors. Shoot. There's not a safe covered by books here, are there? Hmm. Guess not. Alright. Let's go try talking to our... our friend the guardian and see if you can't take us up because I can't think of much else to do down here. Translate. Batter Mart Super Spirit Laundry. I did find more of those sheets. Where's the guy that's playing guitar? Wow, my microphone's picking up all that. Crazy. There's the guy playing guitar. Show item. This sound sounds so familiar. Dun, 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 dun. It almost sounds like putting the Ritz. If you don't know where to, where to go to, why don't you sit where fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz. It sounds similar. It sounds similar. It's not the same, but what else do I got for you, buddy? Number six of eight, cool down.
I like this. Oh, stop, Mama. Stop. No apologies necessary. So No Man's Sky has an expedition going on, may or may not be... On all night. Oh man. Well, good luck with that, Tawdry. That game is only literally infinite, like Minecraft. Yeah, there's the lightning being picked up all day. Do I have any more music sheets? Clementine's notebook, Andrew Drink. Sheet music, yeah. Mildly important information. Unless he has hair, like he has dreads. I'll check my inventory. That's it, that's all the, the sheets I've got. I don't know if there are more out there. Suppose you might tell us after this. More, buddy. I'll keep my eyes open though. And then there was a, a dude like who's selling stuff. I think he will buy the energy drinks. How many energy drinks do I got? That's not enough. Alright, well, I guess he doesn't want me to... I'm not meant to have it. Hmm, shoot. Alright, well, suppose we can always come back. If not, not a deal. Let's go talk to this guarding guy and see what he can tell us. The lust. Uh, what do you need? What picture of that side? Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows it's impossible to leave this place. We'll accept the outsiders. Log on now, except for Momo. You can try talking to him if you want to, but give him try to leave. It's the best. This is a high building with the orange neon sign. Okay, well. I knew we had to go up. Now we have the more specific direction. Catapult? I don't know what I got the achievement, or the catapult achievement for. He lives in that building with that orange neon sign. Okay. I broke down and bought this game. Oh no, Mama Knight. Like, literally just now? There he is! Momo! Oh, don't be sad, Momo. Oh, he is sad. Momo, it's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey you, what do you want? It's 
picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll bring you only loneliness and despair. My friend had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that transceiver didn't work. My friends and I took notes for our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there. Okay. Oh, you brought the other weekend, Mama Knight. Okay. That is, that's perfect logic right there. How can I not play a game about cats? You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Okay. Oh, it seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me take the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We- Zerks! I said Zucks, like Mark Zuckerberg. We must stay away from the Zerks. It's signed Clementine- Oh! Zalzabar, Doc, and Momo. I've got the note from Doc about his keys, and I got Clementine's notebook. Looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Found Clementine's notes. She really did bra uh, She really was brave, you know. The most fearless person I've ever met. Did you show him all of them? Momo's notebook. Well, he here I give a. Okay, I guess that's it. Shoot. Earth. Earth is the per third planet from the sun and fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date, it is the only celestial object known to foster life. According to radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. It has a single neutral satellite, the moon, which forms soon after. The gravitational interaction with the moon creates the tides, stabilizes the Earth's axis of rotation, and gradually reduces its rotational speed. It's pretty neat. The city has a cylindrical shape. Of, oh boy. I didn't get to roll that. Uh, about 450 meters in diameter. There's a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, the blue sky is hidden behind. Maybe. Is this a cat toy? What's in the bag? Up. Oh. oh my gosh, my controls are backwards. I forgot that this happens. Okay, it's off. It's off. It's off. Hmm. Ooh. Back Home 2? Oh, Back Home 2. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. A scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? All right, we're getting more memories for you, buddy. It would be 12. I mean, what good was coming here if the dude pretty much would just say that he can't help us? And this radio doesn't work. Oh, we might be able to go this way. Okay. Outsiders. Okay. Suppose we'll keep going this way then. Cheat music. No way. Yeah, it looks like the only thing to interact in here was that. 
But there's like a light source here. Weird. What's up, Chabs? Oh my gosh, all the cat emotes. What's up, friend? How are you? This door's not interactable. Shoot. Um, this is my collection of cat emotes. I hope you enjoy them. Those are awesome, man. Those are awesome. Can I open this door? Negative. Okay. Kind of a waste of time coming here. I mean, I got a thing of sheet music. The symbol on the wall matches the one in the notebook. It does! We already visited this place, but we could check if there are other signs like that. Okay. That's as good of a guess as any, because right now... I have no idea where we can go. Why the sad face, Chaz? Why the sad face? Um, let's go this way. Oh, oh, I understand. You're replicating the symbol. Well done, well done. Some of me just doing cat things. I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. I'm a little confused because, like, I left off. I'm like, I need to explore some rooftops. And I did. And now I'm not sure what else... I could do here. We're a little lost. Hmm. Hmm. We just want to look at that symbol again. Do we want to see where else we can see that symbol? Well, I guess it would make sense to start up high, so let's do that and work our way down. You're lost? From the reviews I read, this game is supposed to be pretty straightforward. Sorry to hear that. I've heard the same thing. Like, um, I've almost heard it's like a walking sim. Oh, nice. That's another thing of sheet music. They gonna let us in? Okay, so I said, let's, we've already been there, but let's explore again. We did. Did I just, did I miss something? I mean, there's music being played here. There's nothing for me to, like, interact with in here. I guess we're gonna keep looking for other cases of the fry face chilling around here. We'll start up high and then we'll go low. Weird, weird, weird. Are you cold? Hepter, oh hey, it's you. Uh, you do look weird and small, but there's something about you. 
You want a poncho, buddy? No, you don't. We met him um, last week. It's an angry face. We've already met that dude. There's another one of those faces right there. And there. Okay, so how do we get over there? Would we even be able to get inside that? It's all kind of boarded off. Translate. Ventilation power supply. If we turn off, we might be able to go down the ventilator. I stole power supply. I'm gonna drop it right here. All right, we're making progress. We've never been here before. Uh, there's a water dish. Okay, I'm not thirsty no more. I didn't mean to knock those boxes over, I swear. Up. Oh. Thank you for the hydrate, chaps. I actually needed that, thank you. I just opened up a window. Okay, cool. I'm not going to leave until I know there's like nothing of value in here. I found a notebook. We needed that. Another notebook. So there's... All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an incredible rate. As of being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. So I want to say there were three total. So we already have two of them. We need one more. And then we go back to Momo. Well, the lighting implies we should go left. It's dark and spooky down there. So, that's one of the faces. There's one over there. All the way over there. Do you guys see it? The blue the blue light? Oops. Aha. Okay, so we have been in here. This is where we thought Mama Knight's place was. Well, if... Is that the notebook right there? No, that's just a book. Shoot. Might be harder than I thought to find. <laughs> Easy hydrate, yes. Might be harder than I thought to find a notebook in here. Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just librarian. Okay, let's be more thorough about this potential safe behind books. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been looking for the symbol that, in, that indicates I can interact with stuff.
Hmm. There's got to be more than just sleeping up here. Like, what's the benefit? I mean, it's super cute. But why? Why not sleep on the couch? Or... So I can jump on the ground, the piano, back on the little shelf I came from. Can I jump anywhere from the piano? It's a negative Ghost Rider. Can't jump anywhere from these books. Am I supposed to knock these guys over? Do I have to knock over all the, the books in here? That's it. We're disrespecting our surroundings. This looks like a safe. This looks like a safe. We did it. Select an item to use. How about the keys? Look at that. That's probably the, the third notebook we need. Doc's notebook. Find the last notebook. This one seems to belong to some named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with the a uh, powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able, or we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. If the initial attempt was explosive, I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh. There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repaired the transceiver. If it can't communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show what we found. Back to Momo's. We're doing it. We were lost, but now we're okay. Okay, so Momo lives the huge orange neon sign. So we're very close. That's Momo's right there. Did not mean to jump down there. That was that was spoopy. Momo. Momo, my boy. Look what we found. Hey look, cat, what are you still are you still looking for those useless notebooks? That's my notebook. I was the Last to join the outsiders, and I'm also the last remaining one. That's Zalb Zabalter's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. That's Docs. Wait, you actually found all my friends' notebooks? Oh, wait. What's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate out, uh, outside of the slums. Clementine, Zabaltzer, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Look at him working. Voila! It works! Come with me. Lead the way, man. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate the whole city. How am I supposed to carry that big thing? A friend might still be out there. 
If there is a way out, they'll know it. Oh, get a new item. I can digitize items. B12 can, at least. You're only a small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Cute. All right, well. So that tall building. That, that one? That is super tall. Oh, wow. Okay. Well? Did he close the door behind us? All right, buddy. Rooftops, we got a new level unlocked. Awesome. Oh, there's a whole bunch of those Zerks up ahead. Oh gosh, they can move like I do. Do not like that, okay. So it went from the slums to the rooftops. Yeah, like, they got like, these pustules growing in the wall. And, like, membranes and stuff. Do not like. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up uh, rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. A person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope and not long after everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There's nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors Again, like the outside, I think it helped. Cute. Holy bottles, Batman. Yeah, there's broken neon signs. That's a pizza. Pizza joint there. Pizza time. Okay. Ooh, I think I have to push this barrel. Oh, maybe I have to get in it. Or maybe I push it. Okay. I have to push it over here, and then I have to use it to jump onto the swinging arm. I'm so nimble. Looking for Zerks before I jump down. Oh gosh, are there, are this is this their membrane? Oh gosh, oh gosh, it is yucky here. Nope. Yeah, th this is an infection. Did I just like... Hector, 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 Hector. Yeah, do not let them in. <laughs> That's close. So you have any idea who the two oppressors are yet? Not yet, not yet. Um, it definitely. S oh gosh. 
It definitely seems like, um... They're not gonna get over here without them getting me. Ho ho ho! Look at you. Um, it definitely seems like there's something going on. Between oppressors and humans being away and separation of classes with robots. Something for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely not going back that way. Yeah, those guys are, uh... It's a hard pass. They are yucky. Icky, icky, icky. I mean, this whole environment is just covered in pizza goo. Oh, they're... Speaking of pizza, I don't like all these pustules over here. Like, they could hatch on me. I'm afraid to set foot down there. Ugh. Mmm, pizza. <laughs> There's a little vent. Oh god, I'm going inside the infected building? Do you hear the music just get super intense? Doom, 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 doom. All right, well, the game is saving. Oh, good, I can't jump back up either. Well, 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 um, things are about to get interesting. We're in, like, the hive. So, I'm gonna pause. We've been streaming for an hour here. What I'm gonna do is run a quick miracle story, talk to you guys a little bit more about Extra Life. Don't go anywhere, we got a great rest of the stream for you. We will be right back. Oh, gosh. Stick around. In sports, you always have the naysayers out there. There are people that think that you can't win a race or you can't do something else. If you work hard and you're focused and you're disciplined uh, and you have some ability and, and talent, you usually will be able to persevere and get to those goals and accomplish the things that you want to in sports. <laughs> I don't think anybody predicted, not even us, being his parents, that he would have come this far in such a short amount of time. He's running at a national level in track and field. He's one of the best runners in the state. He's one of the top baseball players in the area, which that was one sport we didn't ever think he would play again. Sports was his dream, and we saw all of his dreams be taken away from him. Well, the first thing I heard was that they were bringing a 10-year-old in who had uh, been hit in the head with a golf ball. I ran to the golf course and picked him up. As we started getting to the hospital, I sort of felt a little bit of panic. I got him out of the car, kind of rushed to the emergency room a little bit and noticed that he was dragging his leg. He was unable to move his right leg, right arm, and weak in the right side of his face. He also had a seizure, and I was amazed to see that there wasn't really any skull fracture at all, but an area about one inch to a half inch deep in the brain on the left side showed a small hemorrhage, maybe thumb size hemorrhage. It was just a horrible, helpless feeling because I couldn't do anything and I didn't know what was going on. I was also very concerned that if you go in to remove a clot, you'll do more damage getting down to the clot. And then I started to think, was my child gonna live? And when that started to set in, that was the scariest part. In this case, it was better to let nature heal itself. With the injuries that I saw initially, I would expect him to have significant motor handicaps and maybe some speech handicaps that preclude him from really playing any major sport activities. Arden's a Canadian national champion in the pole vault. I played professional baseball. Arden's father played in the NHL. Her brother played on the Canadian national team for rugby. He grew up seeing all of us compete and all of us accomplishing our goals and our dreams. And I don't think he knows a world of not accomplishing your goals. 
he transferred that into his therapy. So if he didn't do the exercise that he wanted to properly, then he'd come home and try it some more. Throughout therapy, even when he got frustrated, he was just a really, really hard worker. Um, he would do whatever we asked him to do, which is not always the case in pediatrics. It's frustrating, it's hard work, it hurts, and he really never said no, said I don't want to, this is too hard. And then he'd go back and be so proud when he was able to sort of win, beat that exercise, and so then he could move on to the next one. Miracles happen. His recovery is one of those miracles. I love Phoenix Children's Hospital. I mean, that place was a godsend to, to us and our family. The staff there, the doctors, the nurses, everybody that, that took care of us there, they were all fantastic, and we, we can't thank them enough. He uh, just recently qualified for the Junior Olympic Nationals. He ran 12 seconds better than his, than his fastest time ever to make the finals, and I think he finished 10th overall in the nation, so we're very proud of him. And literally four years ago, he couldn't smile, he couldn't move his right arm, he couldn't wiggle his, his right toe. Children's Miracle Network is so important for the hospitals. Everything that Children's Miracle Network has done has allowed them to help children like Nathan recover in their own environment. I think hard work does bring good things. I mean, if you work hard and then if you get the thing that uh, you really want, it's like more special because you know you earned it. No one gave it to you. It's all yours. You did it. There is no way no one will out kick me in the last 400 meters. I just won't let it happen because I'll push myself till I drop.
All right, gang, we are back. What you just saw was a miracle story, or just a very good example of how the funds raced here, playing games with Extra Life, make the world a difference for kids in need, like the champion you just saw in that story. We just entered, like, the Zerk's hive and are in danger. The screen literally says 16 seconds th since the last checkpoint, so I'm going to get my head out of the way and we'll get right back into the gameplay. I'm playing stray here for national cat day so that right there was the vent we came in and we can't get back up as chab said the only way forward is through I'm looking for pathways, but also try not to step on any of these little pustules and try not to like knock anything over that would produce sound and alert them. Does that make sense? Oh gosh, there's a whole bunch of them over there. Okay. So I imagine I want them come over here. Oh gosh, there's two groups of them. There are some dead center that way and there are some here. Can I like sneak? Is there... Is there, is there a sneak option? Oh gosh, they know I'm here, they know I'm here. Okay, so that probably wasn't the best of it, dude. I think I was supposed to go in between those boxes. So they didn't see me. I can already tell I need to go to the light. Use that swing bar and get up to this scaffolding. Yeah, they look like head crabs from... Oh god, Half-Life. So there are some on the other side of that fence. Oh, there's another one of those like one-way gates again. Okay, so I'm gonna need that barrel. I'm gonna need to push it probably through that way. So I'll tell you what. Look like bloated uh, blood filled ticks to me. That's probably an accurate description too. So I'm probably need that barrel to get me up on top of this beam and then over that beam. So we're gonna hack this and then we're run. I did not uh, lead them away well enough. Okay. So in theory, they should all be right there. And I should be better suited to keep pressing forward here. This looks so spooky. Ooh, there's a memory over here. Can you die if you get attacked by too many of them? Uh, yes. Uh, I haven't died yet. But there are, uh, you can die in this game. Ne- Necro- Neko Corp. They're responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. I wonder if that's what the Zerks are, because they eat anything. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Okay, so they're not an alien race. They are a, an, a genetically created problem. 
Let's go. Oh, dislike. Yeah, we, we, we did this to ourselves. What's funny is we, we have created plastic eating worms. Lord knows where that's going to trickle into. The ecosystem is a delicate thing. And, you know, evolution's real. Oh, wow. Hi, guys. Okay. Got away from those ones. I mean, we're, we're almost at the tippy top. There's a little bit of an elevator. Wow, they're really... It really is like a circle of lights. They're, the slums really is just in a, a hole down here. Do you guys see the wall in the, the distance? I mean, there really is just... The slums are just a hole in the ground. There's a lever. That's not going to attract any attention. Oh, poop, oh, poop, oh, poop, oh, poop, oh, poop. The cat version of Mazeron, I freaking love that movie. Yo, oh my gosh, that is like the, the, the thing from the opening too. Oh God, they're just throwing themselves at this thing. They're sticking to the sides of it. Dislike. Oh, they're throwing themselves off the building. Oh, could you imagine if they threw themselves off the top or like collected in this elevator like a bucket? I would drown in these zerks. Ding. Oh, what a nice relieving sound. Please open. Use item. There it is, transceiver. I mean, I hope this works. Look, the view, it's beautiful from here. I remember now, the city, it was meant to be a shelter. Look, uh, those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof ceiling off the city. Mankind built this shelter to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unviable and dangerous. Or unlivable and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back to find Momo now that we've connected the transmitter. We should be able to get help. Okay. We're, we're doing it.
doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. I could have swore I saw something else I could interact with over here. Maybe I'm just imagining things. It doesn't hurt to explore a little bit while we're up here, because I don't think there's going to be... Here it is, but then see if the... I already did that. I already did that. <laughs> My paint can... All right, well, I guess we're going down. Cutscene time? We're back home, wherever home is. Oh, it's Momos, The Slums, Part 2. Radio still doesn't do anything. That's okay, where is Momo? Oh, look, a note. Little Outsider, if you're reading this, it means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I like the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It's... Careful, it's Kane's sense to see the bar at Momo. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. As long as you've got it, B12, because Lord knows I don't. Anything in here before we go? I'm under the bed. I'm slinking. I love the orange cone light. Guys, just leave their. I'm not putting that bag on my head again. Just leave their stuff open. Here's the lock for the window. The code was. Hmm. H, I think. Wrong key. Move from bed. Let's try it again. Hmm. Was it zero? Go to the bar. I remember the bar was like on the ground floor. Oh, there's a bucket. Let's take a bucket. the laundromat the bar hey guy all right you were the guy that walked and I was tripping a little bit the bar the bar the bar it's grandma's you guys are just chilling That looks like a bar. It's Momo. Hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. Oh, sorry, friend. Can I get on the stool? I can. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Oh my gosh, that dial-up sound. Almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Zabaltar? Momo? Psh! Can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zabaltar. We are... 
Where are you? Are the others okay? You've got mail. <laughs> yes. We are safe. We found a way up. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? Hello? How? Darn it, we've lost the signal. Can't believe it. Zabaltazar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers? The sewers is the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zabaltazar made it, uh, there must be a way. Seamus, you'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make you a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Make sure the luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyways, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. I wonder what robots drink. Pfft, Seamus, his father Doc used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight zerks. Are we about to get an upgrade? Years, up, uh, years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus is never in the same sense. Oh, poor Seamus. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Okay. Teddy, you cold? Grandma, maybe this scarf isn't wonderful. You've already got goodies from Grandma, huh? Dude, his kimono is awesome. Or his robe. It's like a Hawaiian shirt, but full body. This is such a pretty game. Seamus, open the door. And her father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you, I think I have an idea. What are you going to do? Rip the air conditioner off the wall? Oh. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. Okay. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try reestablish communications with the others. Is he sleeping? He's sleeping. Dirty laundry. And a hard drive on the radiator. What are you doing here? I told you, getting through the sewers uh, is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Wait, it's my pause. Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? I don't know. I mean, this looks like a door right here. I'm just gonna knock all of the paintings down. 
I don't know how anyone could say no to that face. Exactly. Now that looks like a code. Time will tell. Interesting, interesting. I feel bad I'm trashing this dude's place a little bit, but... It's for the greater good, Seamus. Oh, hey. I've never noticed that digit code before. How'd I miss it? Or how about that obvious door in the middle of the wall? I have no idea what the password could be. What could the code be? How do I tell him? Do I need to enter it? Oh. <laughs> Easy. No. What's up, Lone Wolf? I don't... Oh, time will tell. 216? No, it's... It's not 216, it's... How do they tell time in this universe? Wish me luck for my interview tomorrow. Good luck, lone wolf. Fingers crossed, buddy. Currently cooking dinner in the putt plug. It's late, man. Hopefully that you, you guys eat soon. The clocks are all different times? 216... Oh, so 2511. Let me try 2511. Good ice, chaps. I just assume they're all the same. <laughs> Sell out. Hey, it worked. Well done. Well done. Oh, there's uh, Zerks in here. I can't tell if that one's dead or sleeping. Observation. Cute sounds, but... Never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eats all kind of materials. Total vision in the dark. Reacts to intense light. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, please. You you are totally good. Uh, I still get to read your messages, chap, so I know what you mean. But the audience doesn't have to see them. I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. His blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so se selective with, or secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and never came back. Well said, Chabs, well said. No, so it, in the case of a job interview, right? That's so true because they are the customer. They are shopping around. They need employees. They're at the grocery store. They're looking at resumes. They're seeing out what's going to be, what's going to fix their problem, right? They have a problem. You're the solution. You are in control. That's the the right mindset to have, man. You don't need them. They need you. Either way, good luck, man. Good luck. Um, let's see here. Wow, dude, he's got a ton of these little things in, uh, in jars. I don't like that. Translate. Robot news headlines. Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. That's absolutely terrifying if you're made of metal. Translate. Um, the Fluxer Blueprint. Concept, light-based handgun, low priority, visual appearance, size, um, decibel, decibel, uh, emitted, emitted, high priority, test in real condition. Yes, yeah, objective 20 Zerk destroyed per second. I like the sound of that. So hoping the prototype would be in there. But if the dad took it with him, there's a chance that it's just gone. 
There's a chance that it's just gone. Take broken tracker. Okay. Are there more boxes to knock off? Find anything interesting in here? Yeah, where's that broken tracker? Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to help keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. Okay. This place is a mess. I'm sorry I knocked everything down. I'm a cat. It's in my nature. Okay, if I was someone who could fix stuff... Maybe someone can find it. Hmm. I'm cleaning the porch again. Stop playing with my shop, you clumsy rascals. How about you, man? I clean the paint. Sure makes use of that detergent. Can you fix stuff? What is, uh, what's this thing? A tracker? I don't know anything about high-tech stuff. Try the bar. I'm heading to the bar. I refuse to be like MGK. <laughs> be like MGK. I, how have I not met you? That was great stuff. Falls in our trash. So many treasures. The barter man. Okay. Do you need a poncho, buddy? No. Well, if I was a bar... There you are. Hey, you, Billy. You fix stuff, Billy? You want something? Tracker, I don't know how to get that fixed. Bartender might have some ideas. Bartender. Jacob. You're new right here. What can I do for you? What a beautiful object and rare, too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented. Just a little, well, you'll see. His name's Elliot. He, his office is just left of here, near Grandma's shop. There's signs all over his door. All right, looks like we're heading to go visit Elliot. And Grandma's is nearby, too. That's not grandma's. I have music for you, buddy. <laughs> Sounds like a merry-go-round. I'm gonna let you play. I gotta find Elliot or grandma. There's Grandma. So if I was Elliot's shop. Uh, MGK, it's Machine Gun Kelly. It's a local artist. Used to be a rapper. Now it now does a lot more like punk pop um, stuff. His stuff personally now I think is, is better than his old stuff. But that's just me. I don't remember ever going up here. Like, I feel like I could get up on top of that pipe and just walk out. Grandma, where's Elliot? I do like my new outfit. Take the Elliot for things. 
Uh, he's a wizard like trucks. He lives just over here. Is this his, is this his place? Ellie programming at the doorway for it to open. Oh, awesome. Found it. Nestor? Sorry, buddy. I'm looking for Elliot. I can't decide if I've been here before. I think so. Yes, I have. How can I help you? Oh, wow. That's great. A tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Toyma BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something. I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm trembling like this. I need a blanket. I've been wondering who won the poncho. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. The lady right next to you? Let me try it on. Look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks, now I can definitely fix your tracker. Awesome, I'm glad I've been carrying the thing around for two days. Let me take a look, just gotta give a little update and one more thing, voila! New item, fixed tracker. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. Thanks, bro. What a guy. All right, well then let's go back to Seamus. I think I'm actually going the wrong way. It's grandma's. I know Seamus didn't live far from the bar. Hey, miss. Where is your house, buddy? Oh, there you are. Did you manage to fix the tracker? Sure did. You did it! You fixed it! Well done! Give it here. We got a ping! Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. <clears throat> Maybe we'll find where Papa went. I love his Marty McFly vest and hat from the Back to the Future. With that plastic metallic rainbow color. What if he's gonna go straight to that door that these guys were saying no one opens that door? Yeah, he's going straight to it. Well, I'm gonna give this last th piece of sheet music I found to that uh, musician before I potentially never come back here. Here, friend. Hear the music. Can I find any more? Last one, buddy. Hey, that's the last music sheet. You've done very well, little one. Here is this badge of token of my gratitude. I got a music badge. Let's see, what is this last piece? Ballad of a Lonely Robot. I think I could play this. Look.
sing along. Enjoy it, buddy. I'm happy I was able to get out of my inventory and I was able to help somebody at the same time. Let's go meet up with Seamus and see what we got here. Man, we need one more thing of soda. And then we can... We can figure out the tradesman has. I kind of really want to figure out where the last thing of soda is. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous to go out, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Yeah, there are Zucks or Zerks right there. Oh gosh, yep, there's pizza. It's pizza time. So, okay, dude is coming with me. He closed the door. Shoot. All right, well, we're in this. Teenage Mutant Ninja, Team, Ninja, Ninja Turtles were born here. With those cheese pull, absolutely. Look at all these Zerk eggs. They will be—they'll eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. I got an outsider badge. Oh, they got my little vest. Here, I'll open the door for you. Where's my musician badge? Oh, there it is. I see it on the side. Of, it's on the top half. Awesome. I'm decking out my outfit. All right, bye, Seamus. Hopefully I don't die. Yep, and the gate's closed. I don't like this. My tail just went up. The lighting is so pretty. Ooh, a memory. Look at how huge this wall is. I remember it was a symbol of division between those in the slums and in Midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Spoopy. Our father's a rat. <laughs> Dead end. Ooh, there are definitely Zerks down there. My god, there are so many. I had to like kite them around, that was terrifying. I don't even want to know what's in this water. Gotta get my momentum on this thing. There we go.
Oh god, are we going for a ride? Oh! Am I okay? Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Oh, do I have a limp? Oh, I have a limp! I'm cleaning myself. Is that how I get better? Doc said they don't like bright light. And they can see in total darkness. I know! There's a bike down here. I mean, there's a lot of trash. They must not have been around. This little neck of the woods. I mean, they could wreak serious havoc if they could just eat metal. Like, that's the infrastructure. That's... These pipes, that's everything. I hope this isn't Doc. Scientists I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to do a little cottage to a little cottage fishing all day long. Of course that was not a possibility in the city and nobody could have done that for at least a few hundred years. When we get to the outside, what if we find ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the scientists would have wanted. But first we go find Doc. Okay, so this wasn't Doc. Good. You want to cuddle him? I know, Mama Knight. I know. Yeah, that looks like a fishing rod and maybe like a garbage uh, bobber. There are two zerks over there. Okay, great. Little bottle here. Little welcome mat. Yeah, whoever was here definitely, definitely was living there. That's a whole lot of jerks brewed up ahead. Oh, God. Can I scratch this door? No. There's a lever I could pull here. Oh. Like an item to use? No, it needs like a fuse or something. Hmm, electrical generator, but it seems to require some other part to function. Yeah, it needs like a, a fuse. Well, logic, video game logic would dictate follow the cable. Okay, so it's over there. I don't like it. We're gonna zip this way real quick and see what's over this way first. Oh good, an equally zerked out tunnel. Alright, fine, we'll follow the cable first. And the cable goes in here. That's good. Those look like Zerks in cages. Okay, so it's plugged in. Do I need to hit this button? No. God, look at them. They're like shiny and wet. They sound squishy. Doc is anywhere, Doc's in here. He looks like a dock. Whoa! 
Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh shit, miss you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my deflexor, but I didn't... It didn't go as planned. I wish I get back home. I miss my son dearly. Oh, poor guy. Right, mama? Night? Gross little things. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Okay. Being mischievous is something I'm good at. I've never seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making lots of noise. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Aw. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? Maybe. These radios don't work. Well, I don't think I'm re revealing anything here. Hmm. Hi, Doc. We're stuck. These Zerks will attack as soon as we step outside. Quitter talk. Don't mind me, I'm just trashing your, your lab, bro. Void, an essay about nothing. really seem to care about my flashlight. Oh, he's got a Zerk little target board. That's awesome. What about up here? Negative. Alright, well, we know where the cables came from. I can't get out of here. So our answer lies within. Am I supposed to just dig at this wall? Oh my god, I didn't notice this giant flashlight before. Be careful with that deflexor. At full charge, it can explode Zerks like confetti. What? This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work. I think there's a... I think there's a... Another Back to the Future reference there. And the only thing uh, around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew and with all the zerks around it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. Give me the fuse, I'll do it buddy. I'm not fast enough, but you might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Alright buddy. His lab coat's so dirty. Up, oh, Pumpkin Jack wants us to exercise our wrist real quick. I'll uh, put it in the chat so you guys can do it too. 
Actually, you can click that link. Fist open, palm open, tip the claw, half fist fist. Fist open, palm open, tip the claw, half fist fist. There we go. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Sweet. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the deflexor. You just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Alright. I said to not die. Yeah, they definitely don't care about light, so... Yeah, that's UV, all right. Oh, he's n nailing it. He's actively trying to give me cover. This is awesome. Yes, yes, dude. He's doing a great job. Oh, don't want to go this way. This guy is awesome. Doc is a dead shot. Nice, let's go! <laughs> the flashlight and everything. He's so excited. Amazing, you got the generator back on. As you've seen how powerful a deflexor is, it's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute, I might be able to mount the deflexor to your drone. He's so hyped, he's so hyped, mama. It worked. The deflector is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to, uh, to run off a small power source. If you use it too much, it will could cause malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous now. Let's get back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Oh, good. Reunion. I was trying to pop them. How do I use it? Okay, how do I use it? Take out all those zerks so we can get through. Left bumper. Okay, so they do pop. Awesome. Well, it's working great, but as I suspected, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit. Uh, when that happens, I hope it will last until we reach the village. Okay. Well, we just got a new tool. How long has it been since we've saved? 35 seconds. Okay, so it's we just reached a new checkpoint. That's exactly what I was checking for. 35 seconds. We've been streaming for a full two hours here. We just got a great saving point. We got a new tool. We got it upgraded. We progressed the story. I feel like we're about halfway done already. This might not take a lot of streams. That is okay. That is okay. There's always more games to play. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to conclude our broadcast. We're going to find someone to raid together, and we're going to kind of go to our outro so give me just a second, and that's exactly when we happen. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. The lesson I want you to learn is it doesn't matter what you look like. You can be tall or short or fat or thin or ugly or handsome like your father. <laughs> or you can be 
black or yellow or white, it doesn't matter. But what does matter is the size of your heart and the strength of your character. Thank you, Mama Knight. Me too, me too. All right, gang. Well, that is going to be it here for me on our Monster Monday broadcast with our second little episode of Stray. We're going to go ahead and drop a raid over on our buddy Seemed Note. Seemed Note is currently also playing Stray. And what's even better than that is they're also fellow Extra Life fundraisers. So we're going to show them some love. They have a countdown going on their stream with seven minutes and 30 seconds left on it i have no idea what that's for we're gonna find out we are gonna find out so i'm gonna go ahead and start the raid over on seemed note i'm also gonna make sure that pumpkin jack put some stuff in the chat for us to copy and paste from my stream over to seemed note stream but that is gonna be it for me mama knight of course you have a fabulous night as well you guys as always there has never been anyone like you there is no one like you and there'll never be anyone like you Love yourselves, love each other, I love you. We will see you all next time. Stay spooky. Good night.